What's up guys? This is the Roafman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, we have conducted a bit of a seaborne invasion on the west coast of India and we have attacked Satara and we are now going to follow that up and attack the city of Ahmadnagar. There is a small garrison in the city, they have a small reinforcement force that, mo that is going to come and help as well as a great gun. So the reason why these guys can help is because they're close to the road which means they're, they can travel further and that's why these guys aren't getting involved, but these guys are. So without further ado, let's crack on and take the city from the enemy. And I mean, this... The western push has been incredibly devastating, because that means that all of our armies that have landed to the south can now push straight up the centre towards Hyderabad. Um, so the, the armies you've got on the west, once they've taken a city, their job is to hunker down until the line advances such that they can um, leave the city without causing without leaving any risk that we might uh, we might lose the city from troops leaking through this is a completely green army actually this is going to be their first taste of battle so we've got one force that's a, that's a block of infantry coming in and there's another force that's just the great gun Okay, so it's, the cavalry is coming in on the left. Most, well, the vast majority of what we're facing are uh, second class. They're not front line caliber, not at all. It's the armed populace. It's old men, old men on bicycles, to quote General Browning in a bridge too far. A bunch of obviously forgot about them waters. Sound like um, D and D talking about Game of Thrones, and he just forgot about the mortars. Let's get our artillery to switch to quick climb. It's going to limit our what we can, who we can attack to a certain degree. These guys are going to be pivoted a bit more obviously in defence of that particular push. The men on the left, their job is to break the enemy quickly push into the city and nullify their mortars so our quick climbing howitzers should really help blow through this section of the line granted it's just armed popular so they aren't these aren't well they aren't high quality troops Let's just put it that way before I say all that rubbish again. So oh, we're being quick lined. If they charge us, then even better, because obviously I've got some good cavalry, and it'll also mean that they'll be in an even trickier spot. Cavalry out of the way. There we go, we've broken through. Continue the push. Push through the town. The more buildings they destroy, the more freedom they get to engage. Redeploy the troops. Then let's pivot our quick line against these actual troops coming in. The job of the cavalry here isn't to do huge amounts of damage. It is to just chip away at them a bit to try and shatter them. Curacier up there to fight the general's bodyguard because our infantry will need to focus on their task at hand. General's bodyguard's going to be in a good position to. Ooh, some good quick climb hits down against the lancers. Let's go. 
Okay, let's keep our cavalry running. General's bodyguard is in a good place to do some real, really good damage. They're going to try and hit our lancers in the rear. That's not hit our, this cavalry, this infantry action in the rear. I mean, that might surprisingly work. Pour fire into them. You guys form up. You guys form up. Where's my general? Take out the mortars. Cavalry hit the general's bodyguard. Quick line focus on the enemy. I mean, I hope, I think Curacy are okay against elephants. Time will tell. You guys hit the firelock arm populace. My general will be enough to chip away at these guys. And they are winning. I mean, I will. This will be a learning experience for me. Okay, the enemy have been killed. Are there? The enemy general has been killed. But I'm not sure which general. You men charge that to kill in the rear. Could be the that's garrison garrison musket men, no sorry. Oh good, it was the general the elephants, good. Curacier hit the musketeers, quick climb your entire force focus on that unit of Dakil. The great guns are firing, so let's retarget our artillery there. Now they've broken to musketeer fire. You men deploy square. men pushing on so if those guys can form their square they might kill the lancers you guys get out of the way quick climbers focus on that unit of garrison musketmen there okay I really need to start to rebalance my men away from this action square broke understandably Let's get my general around to the rear of that combat these men are coming back which is understandable if a little spooky get our cuirassiers in because they are still here another enemy general's unit has been felled the light cavalry has to charge that unit of musketmen. Good, those men have killed that enemy cavalry. Get the cuirassier around to hit the great gunners. That means you guys are now free to focus on providing that gunfire support. Quick climbers doing some friendly fire. You guys hit the Kizilbashi to the rear. Bring that cavalry back. You guys focus on garrison musketmen. The great gun, the great gun's been killed, so let's bring you guys back to this action. My general's bodyguard can get out of here. You're pouring fire into the firelock on populace, which hopefully will break them. You guys bombard the Kizilbashi. Go, you men form a, f a form a f form a line. You men form a line. You men form a line. Hopefully, you guys can knock out the armed populace. Curacier engage the garrison musketmen. Hopefully, you guys can knock out those musketeers. They have been repelled. They have been repelled. Only the garrison musketmen here that are still alive and kicking. 
Oh, and these guys, obviously. Fuel artillery, everyone focus on them. Howitzers, round shot them. The general has fallen. Understandable, he was in a sustained action. You men fire it all off. Charge the garrison musket men. Artillery, quick climb that unit there. All my field artillery. They've bombarded the crap out of that unit there, so don't worry about them. You men pivot to fire into the flank of the enemy musketeers right there. These garrison musket men are getting mobbed from all directions. Quite the trial by fire for these men. One of my units broke. How dares he? Let's end it there. That was real messy. <laughs> I think it was uh, it was me scrabbling to deal with their howitzers that really didn't help. They lost 4,700 men. It's pretty bad. So those reinforcing units are pulled back. So my position here at Amadnagar is vulnerable. So let's repair the governor's barracks, build fortifications. Let's replenish the troops. Let us recruit a general's bodyguard because you guys can't help. You guys are out of, are not in range to help. Can you leave Goa? No, they're really upset if you leave Goa. Well, they're upset for now. So you guys. Why can't you guys leave Persia? Is it, is it because they just hate us that much? Guess so. It cross Casanova down to Basra. Get him into, fray, into the fray a bit quicker. So you've got all these. So you're ready to march. You're waiting for howitzers. Siamo pronti. Okay, right. You just join them. And you can take that first line of infantry. You, really, you want heavy cavalry, but we've just got loads of dragoons. So let's take a light dragoon and a dragoon unit to Basilio Restrelli. Plus, probably another infantry unit. So we'll just take you. So then you're ready to march. You don't need any more cavalry. You join Daniele Pornikovo. You need... I mean, there's probably infantry on the way over. It's explicitly for this purpose, but whatever. Okay, let's take a light dragoon out of here. Let's drop a cuirassier over to Daniele. Put the dragoon in Ricardo's army. There we go. You don't need any of these militia units. You men combine. <laughs> Some of these units are recruiting things. Let's just march them up here. So in England, we've got... You pretty much need just four more infantry. You can't get anything more interesting because we are not a not an agent, not an agent with the biggest roster, and most of the stuff we've got we've maxed out on. So you guys need six infantry. Four, five. We need one more. Six. There we go. So, I think all that's that's all done. Not quite sure where you're gonna go. Got Frido and Drizzy. Let's get you 
down to Batumi, who is going to have a sixth rate waiting for you. Uh, you guys go into Tbilisi. Tbilisi is secured. We can't tax them yet. Okay, so we've done that. You guys are going to go hit Ali Khan. Drive them, drive our way east towards Nerun up on the main Indian front line rather than landing on the continent itself. We really need to smash our way east. There's just no no way. There's just no no ifs, ands, or buts. We just need to we just need to keep on pressing. Pressing everywhere. And this can result in many, many battles. Incredibly battle heavy episode. You guys are in a pretty good position. Right off the bat. Way too many light infantry in this army. Yeah, deploy all my infantry in a big fat line there. My warband, my Albanians on the left. Swiss Mountain Jaeger on the right. Put my Dragoons over there and my General on the left. Howitzers open up off the bat okay, then my line does have to kind of run diagonally thank god I've got my heavy cover on the right right where the camels are dervishes eh Plenty of dervishes. Well, a couple of units. Shrapnel shot. That unit of dervishes. You guys, shrapnel shot. That unit of dervishes. See my, my Swiss mountain jaeger advancing under the cover of camouflage. They're just slowly creeping up until they get within range and blammo! fight me. Get my Dragoons further out on the flank. Very aggressive push. But we're going to roll out the right flank, it looks like. These men have stood up and they're, they're still hidden. Go on. Unleash your fire. <laughs> Such devastation. Oh, oh, lots of friendly fire there, but it worked, damn it. Very results oriented thinking there, but. <laughs> oh. oh, God, hello. Right, you men get to work on the levy. You men get to work on the Hindu warriors. Oh, the dervishes are shattered. Everyone else is shattered, actually. Yeah, you guys just form up. It's only that unit of levy that might come back. <laughs> okay, so now the gen now the elephants are having a go. <laughs> God lie, that was that was incredibly um I was supposed to say anticlimactic, that's one thing it wasn't. It wasn't anticlimactic at all. most of the enemy's line well all of the enemy's line yeah, some of it's come back I mean how could it not the elephant the um, camels are coming back we hit that unit of bowmen they've not lost many men charge him levy go on have a go, son. Stop all my artillery from firing. This is why I like having second armies. It means I can be a bit more cavalier with the lives of my soldiers. Another unit of levy did return. You guys are going to deal with the camels pretty succinctly. 
But I do have another army that's at, that's at full strength. But there goes the levy. They got shattered. I mean, they're, they're running. They're not charging. Ceasefire. I mean, it's just not... Pfft. They're still not... Shattered, so there's a chance they could come back, but they are being harried. Yep, yeah, there they go. There goes the levy. <laughs> so let's see how many friendly troops I killed in that quicklime incident. Yeah, so I killed 130-ish of my own guys. I lost 335, and the enemy killed 204. Yeah, it's not bad. They still killed more of my guys than I did. That's, that's what's supposed to happen in war. That's generally considered the done thing, I think. We've also got Simon and Drizzi. He's going to go here. I mean, Kachwaha. So he's going to fight him, and this guy is going to fight that guy. I mean... <laughs> sure, you, you think they can't keep pumping out this many troops. I mean, you think they'd run out of people eventually. They'd go, right, we need another 6,000 men to recruit. Said, well, what happened to the last 6,000? They go, don't worry about it. Things are, doing, things are going so well overseas, they don't want to come back. That's what's going on. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. But this is classic fighting late game moguls. It just is. It's... Yeah. <laughs> This is very much the name of the game, fighting late game Indian stacks. You can certainly see why I was so paranoid about throwing, about creating so many armies. Because you can keep up this relentless pressure on them so that they're on the back foot constantly, not you. You're not the one sat there going, oh no, if I don't, you know, if I, if I have to fight four battles in a row, my army's destroyed. Shrapnel shot in the bejesus out of us. Just charge the guns. Like a good soldier. These bowmen are going to be ripe for the killing. I'm pretty sure these guys are only, were only getting fired at, quote unquote, because they were being. It was misses from the shrapnel shot. Because who was it? It was you. 123rd. Just a bunch of men to that engagement. Charge the bowmen, because the bowmen are naught but haughty skirmishers. Let's break the bowmen on the left flank. The enemy general has presented himself as a delightful target. Yeah, didn't like that. Oh, go on, our stripey boys. They're having a pop at the dervishes. You men charge into the flank of the dervishes. Here I see air of a pop at the bowmen. General's been killed. The bowmen were wavering for a fraction of a second. And the dervishes will likely not withstand that level of charge. I mean, our Curacier might end up getting too bogged down on that flank, so I might actually run a unit of infantry in to help them. The dervishes are doing okay. The bowmen are still shaking. These guys are fighting against the levy. All of our artillery is engaging their artillery, so you haven't got to worry about that aspect of it. Oh, and they're wavering. If they don't watch out, they're going to get fired upon. More bowmen on the left flank. 
these dervishes shouldn't withstand us for too long. These bowmen have surprised me, but there we are. Resilient little buggers. They could end up winning just from sheer attrition. I just can't kill them fast enough. And there we go, we can start to spin the flank around. The gunners are done for. Quick climb, you need musketeers, you guys can quick climb. Those musketeers, all my field artillery bombard the general's bodyguard. I think they I think they're gonna do it. They are gonna I'm gonna lose this fight on the flank just because there's too many of them. <laughs> oh, they didn't like that quick climb. Come on. There we go. Curassier, get on the march. Infantry, push up. Our entire flank. Pivot. Although that's in their face, but it's two in their face. Dumb move. As per usual. Something more like that. You guys, chunk, get, get out of the way. You chase down the bows, you go chase down dervishes, we've got some enemy levy. We managed to make one bowman, bowman unit route. There's still 320 of the other guys to take out. You're all loading and firing as fast as you can. Levy. Charge the charge the levy with my marines. You guys also get start scrapping. Got some friendly fire quick climb action, which you guys know and love. Hey, we knocked out that other unit. So they get my line infantry to pivot to engage the bows. These Cressier have enjoyed a good long chase. Hey, the musketeers have abandoned their position on the hill. Come on, you men. Load and fire in your own time. The one of you struggled to climb over the fence. General has been killed from concentrated artillery fire. Yeah, dervishes are a good unit to kill. Your bows are a, a teensy weensy bit pointless. Bombard the musketeer unit here. they've broken as well. So probably going to continue this one because just because they are so... We have a handful of units that can chase, do some chasing. Not a lot, but enough. That Kizilbashi unit might come back because they've not really lost many men. Kill the dervishes, and then you can chase down. Right, first of all, stop the artillery. Cease fire. Kill the dervish, because there's only one left. And then chase down the musketeer unit. They've not lost many men. You're not going to kill that levy unit in time, because you're. It always. It sometimes feels like when the the unit is too small. They're very ineffective when they pick away at the unit you're trying to kill until you reach like a critical point where suddenly they become so incredibly lethal. And then they become killing like beasts. So I wonder if it's something to do with the 
pathfinding when it's low numbers of men against high numbers of targets you'd think they would just cut through them all but actually it's a bit it appears to be a bit different to that there we go i mean kachwaha it's been smashed let's just push some of these rear armies up to the front can you guys you, you can't so i'm holding right click on these guys and i'm looking at their movement and you can see the tiny red arrow means they're not close enough but if i run you up to here will they say fine you've got to attack me yeah, push up you men push up you guys have all largely moved from previous fights so girolamo ferrari Go hit. Ghazi Uddin Khan. Ooh, they've got some Gurkhas in this army. Sweet, gotta be a bit careful of them. But it's another <laughs> another Mughal army that we've got to just grind into the dirt. Um, but this is, yeah, this is all part of the fun of late game campaigns. And I think this is part of the reason why this Indian offensive is so successful is chiefly due to the amount of firepower I've put into it. I can go all out and fight massive battles again and again and again and again because somewhere in my line there is a full strength army that can attack so I could just keep attacking every single turn and be relentless so drop my artillery on the hill at an angle just take five units plus a garrison guard unit to form my main front line We are going to have enemy reinforcements coming in. But that's not going to be a super big deal because it's the army that sat on the bridge behind them to the east. And some good heavy cavalry that are going to be resilient to any camel charges. So you men, except for the riflemen, push up ahead of my guns. Some quick climbing how it says one of you is going to focus on one unit of Gurkhas and the other one was going to try hit the other but you're instead going to focus on something else are you guys actually in yes they are cutting into shrapnel range why am I not firing shrapnel shot at everyone and granted it means I've most of my targets I can't actually shoot but whatever Although, to be honest, keeping them firing round shot at the cluster, at the big clump of men to the rear is probably the safer option. So they're firing too far downhill, they might shoot into the back of my own men. You can now hit that 143rd Dakil. You can hit that unit of Gurkhas. Cavalry, cavalry's been repulsed. Advance our line down the hill. Got my cavalry here if the Gurkhas get a bit scary. Quick climb certainly helps. Cut killed 70 Gurkhas. I do love this unit so very much. I mean, they are still like they're still vulnerable to being shot at from range, and you know they've got all of the common issues of using melee units. But I don't know. I think well, I think personally it comes from my respect of the Gurkhas in that operate as part of the British Empire for all these years. I think they're pretty awesome, so I think that's part of it. That's why I'm kind of like yeah, pro Gurkha because they had a real crappy time of it in UK politics for a very long time um, and I'm glad that they are getting more recognition for the for what they do for the country um, I think they've got quite a proud military tradition I'm glad they've got it as an ally and I'm yeah if 
if they said we have to pay more you have to pay more tax to keep the Gurkhas keep the Gurkha regiment like yeah definitely you want to keep the Gurkhas they're brilliant but I'm I'm not going to bang on about the Gurkhas for the whole campaign just because I love them I think was it I think it was it wasn't Goose Green but it was another f another um, position in the Falklands War that got wind that the Gurkhas were on their way and just routed. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I get that. I really do get that. But they, but they well, it, you know, it was, could be a could be an urban legend, but I like it. Anyway, <laughs> let's take Falklands War is one of my favourite wars to read about. Uh, General's bodyguard, get out of the way. Gurkhas are shattered. So get my general's bodyguard out of the way. Get my my heavy cavalry in the mix. You guys are still fighting. Or you are fighting dervishes. Pour an infantry unit in to help out. My main infantry line. Okay, you guys need to carry on your original formation. It's everyone else that needs to change. Well, slightly. Nope. Still had these guys selected. There we go. So how it's is start quick climbing some of these range units. I mean you are gonna have to charge the Gurkhas because they're right where I want to deploy you. So who's in here? Dervishes. Because I've actually cavalry, yeah, but I've got two units of heavy cavalry, plus some extra infantry, which aren't exactly slouches. Charge the cavalry to point straight out the levee, get these men on the flank. Ah, Gurkha's coming in! Uh oh. All my artillery fire round shot, uh, back here. These men form round shot, uh, fire round shot. Well, not round shot. But yeah, get my houses to fire round shot, get my riflemen back out of the way, get these guys to form a square, get my heavy cavalry over to knock out the infantry. Those levy are soon to be consigned to the annals of history. Lots of friendly fire. There we go, the Gurkhas have been routed under concentrated artillery fire, deployed with no regard for the lives of my own men. So you guys form a new line. Deploy my cavalry to pursue the routing enemy. And you guys have to fight the levy. I got my heavy cavalry, they're here. Tufangi are routing. Zimandari horsemen need to be annihilated. You pursue them, you guys pursue the Gurkhas. advance okay oh no they routed anyway okay, I think all the enemy reinforcements that oh no they are they're still coming in but they will not be enough these poor riflemen you guys advance up the hill these guys get over here My skirmishers all, always suffer. I always put them in exposed places where they can't really, well, they can't fight for themselves. They, they, how many men have they lost? Plenty. They've lost plenty of men. They're under fire from artillery. So the unit of Tufangi coming in. Fortunately, they've then decided to charge into my into this combat, which has already got some pretty awesome infantry in it. All my artillery folks on the horsemen, these two mortars. Can't really fire it very much. So let's get these guys up on top of the 
up on top of the slope. You guys are pouring good fire into that two man. This infantry unit is wavering. Yeah, nearby artillery fire really wasn't helping there. Hey, my rifles came back. Get out of the way, rifles! You're in the line of fire! Artillery might actually cause... Might actually cause the downfall of the... Uh, downfall of that force. Okay, you guys go after the artillery to the rear. Rifles are doing good work. My general's chasing down the Gurkhas. There you go, get these men all in formation. Firing into the battle line. You charge into Kizilbashi, you guys take position firing into the flank of the enemy there. Line infantry are very upset. General's got one Gurkha to kill, and they got him! And if there goes the mortar crews, there go the large mortars. Oh my god. You guys have charged through the front very well. Bring the heavy cavalry in. This is going to be... You're talking about a bloody battle. That's the kind of decision that makes a bloody battle a bloody battle. Quick quick line attack ground. Fire short. Mass against the two fangy. The howitzers are all going to fire quick line short. Climb coming in, relying on the area of effect. Oh, just tickled the edge of them. But they're upset. They've lost 40 men and that's enough. And they're redeploying to do something. You guys attack the mortars, quick! All my artillery cease fire. Again. Again, a really messy, bloody battle with pretty stupid dumb tactics because I got loads of guys not worried about bodies not worried about bodies at all you man cease fire I'm probably going to end the battle though rather than chase them down but again it's one army that got bashed to pieces but they're going to push back and that this force on the bridge oh they didn't actually get involved so you men reinforce and fortify these men see if they can be triggered to attack nope well they're going to be attacking them next anyway but that'll be these forces pushed to the east side. You guys might actually push up to the north. Because then one of you can take Srinagar and another you can threaten Lahore and Punjab. My spies are on the move. There's not a lot else I can do. I want to see I want to see how they respond, pretty much. I could should probably actually attack somewhere here. Pick Daniel Pache, Pace Pache. Yeah. So the, this force isn't going to join them, but it's going to attack. We're going to attack these two units here, and this is going to be a more sensible action. Then the army that's on the river, they can then attack next. This is going to. Yeah. <laughs> these these next few episodes are going to be quite quite full of bloodshed i really you know it crosses my mind should i keep a tally of how many men have been how many men 
I lose and how many men are lost um, <laughs> in these kind of actions. So, howitzers unlimber here and fire. My field artillery wants to trundle up onto this hill. So let's give them my marines, two expats, and some line infantry to secure that position. And a solid block of infantry can remain on the lower ground to provide a conventional force. Grenadier guards can stay out wide, general in the centre. So I want my artillery up here. But I want my armies, or my units, to be deployed further down the hill. Now you guys push the left a bit more. My main line is going to march up as expected. So my quick climb quick climb that cavalry unit, you guys quick climb that unit of two man. I mean this is quite a nice position actually to deploy artillery on up here. Because enemy reinforcements are coming in from back there. So my guns are gonna have quite the undisturbed view. Okay, let's push my line up to a more conservative position and make them run because previously they were walking. So I'm going to start to engage these musketeers from the higher ground. It's over, Kizzlebashi! I have the high ground! Good quick climb hits going in. Bring my horse guards back because obviously they're firing at will. Or they can fire at will. Throw this infantry unit in to support that fight. Push these guys up to help support flank of my elite units on the hill. It probably would be better if I could advance a bit further down the hill. It's quite a neat defensive position and my artillery can unlimber. So now, if now my guy is so far down the hill, their shots will bounce before they... I won't kill any of my own guys, because my own guys will be protected by the position of the hill. Bring my Grenadier Guards back, make sure these guys are firing well on again. Wasted a quick climb there. I mean, I am probably going to push these three down. Oh, it might be tricky to get them down there. Although it will be useful still. I'll make them walk until it becomes clear. They might run down like that. Form square. You guys don't form square. Fight the levy. Okay, they've 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 realised that I'm going to push. Still brings them into range. Let's retarget my. Quick climb because they are about to. Why are you guys upset? General's bodyguard, yeah, they're being fired on from the units atop the hill. 
Oh, you know, quick climb to, to Jesus. Dervishes are coming back, but they're they're going to be and they're going to be not very happy because what they're going to see coming their way is there. Run away, Hindu warriors, guys with swords. Charge into the horsemen instead. Enemy general's been killed. You guys charge in the back of the levee there. Kizzle Bashi are going to be taking some bad hits. All my artillery up here engage the general's bodyguard. This unit of dervishes is upset because they are receiving volleys of fire. Kizzle Bashi have to hunker down. This unit of levy is fairly sturdy, isn't it? You're doing some good damage to that unit of Kizilbashi Musketeers. The Dervishes likely will not stand for too long. There we go, that levy's routed. So you men advance down the hill. These units run down off the hill as well. Mass route on the left flank. How it's is engaged that unit of musketeers. These guys engage that unit of Hindu musketeers. You men stay in square as much as you can. So you're going to be firing at the horsemen. These men are going to clear out that unit of Hindu musketeers. Push up on the left. There we go. You guys can charge in the back of that unit there. These units can swing left. To be honest, they can all they can all swing right rather. I'm sure. I, I swear. I can tell the difference. Normally. Zakini has come back. You guys maintain your square and you'll be safe as houses. You men have an excellent target there to hit. These Hindu warriors are going down. Yeah, these guys with their furry hats and hatchets. You don't like them very much. Kids or Bashi have been routed. Oh, total, total enemy collapse. All my artillery focus on 12 pounder. You men chase down the infantry guards. There we go. Ooh. Dervishes are coming back, so you guys just. Attack them, let's get these marines in. I'm not surprised they came back, to be honest. But this levy hasn't lost very many men. But these two units will knock out the dervishes pretty quickly. Get my general down here, take all my artillery, cease fire. Yeah, they're dervishing. The dervishes are, are wavering already. The levy are, are wavering. Understandably, they're against marines. Wow, they've still got men coming in. Reinforcements. Not enough men. Kizilbashi musketeers. More musketeers, more bows. Hmm, almost knocked out these infantry guards, that's pretty good. The 117th can stay where they are in square formation.
You're going to knock out their artillery. These men are going to be fully locked and loaded, ready for the enemy. These poor infantry units that are advancing. I think it's probably going to be... That's it. On the horizon. The Mahowitzers, they're well out of range. Let's speed up time as they make it to my line. They're going to let them march through my artillery fire. There we go. Here come the volleys. Oh, yes. There go the bowmen. There go that Kizobashi. And this Kizobashi unit will also follow. Let's charge them with my cavalry. They're probably going to not like it. Cease fire. General chase down the musketeer unit. We're going to do a little bit of chasing. There aren't many units on the field and we're quite they're quite close to the edge of the the line anyway. Let's try to see if we can knock out the odd infantry unit. There we are. We're gonna take out these fellas for sure. Down to three men. Yeah, it's only this. Who's bugged trying to climb over the wall? Well, now he's bugged. Dying! Ah, ah, ah. Ten, ten men left in this Bowman unit. So, so much for me at the start saying, I'm going to try to keep my guys alive. Turns out, well, that was a lie. <laughs> Smash. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's more than, we'd, more than I'd like, but 3,600 men is pretty good. So you men are going to hold here and replenish. I could send... should send you... I was about to say I'm not going to do it, but I am. Well, fundamentally, I've got a bit of battle fatigue. I fought so many actions there, I'm like, nah, you know what? I'm going to give them a turn. And the only reason I'm giving them a turn is because... I don't want to fight another battle. I want to hit the end turn button and see what happens. So let's do that. <laughs> Ooh! Intercepted by the native factions. Well, considering I just talked about battle fatigue, I need to be in a, a, the right headspace to fight the native factions. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Where we're going to kick off the episode fighting against the Native Americans. Cheers, everyone.